Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This karmic, I feel like there's a karmic and a masculine here, right? Um, I feel like now finally your energy is out here, you're moving forward as an empress. But um, this karmic is, is holding something over this masculine's head. Uh, there's some kind of secret or something that they know about this masculine that they're threatening to rat them out. I feel like this karmic is um, stressed out, man. Stressed, um, doing a lot of crying, trying to pull on this person's heartstrings to keep them where they are, but that's not working anymore. Nothing is working except... This karmic knows something about this masculine, and this masculine does not want it out. And um, that's what's keeping them stuck. I feel like with this picture here, it says opportunity above them. Any opportunity they would have had to leave now is blocked, okay? Um, it's, it almost feels like they're up against a brick wall. They, they want to leave the situation, but now they feel like they can't. Um, yeah, and then that puts us where we are now, okay? I feel like this is your energy out here to being divinely protected. And that means whatever secret this is, it's got to be really bad, right? But whatever secret this is, you haven't been a part of that situation at all. The divine has had you protected this whole time, I feel. You've been working on your stability, your home. Um, just paying attention to your own business really is what this is and doing and doing your work, putting in that effort, right? So you're not a part of this, whatever this secret is, it's, it's, it's bad enough to scare the crap out of this masculine. Okay. But you're not anywhere part of, you're not at, at all a part of it. Okay. So you're safe. I feel like. You're sitting in the Queen of Pentacles throne, so you're very financially stable. You, um, you're focused on your financial stability, okay? Um, your job, your work, your home. Some of you could even be moving away. You, you were nowhere near these people, I feel, when whatever this has happened. Clarify the hamster. Clarify the hamster. What is this person holding over his head? Yeah, this is a queen of swords. She's the rat. Yeah, the queen of swords. Um, this masculine could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. The queen of swords is in her energy like this because, you know what, she feels betrayed. Um, I really do get the feeling like maybe um, they were having a long-term relationship, okay, and she probably started off very loving to your person, you know, but then the, the um, honeymoon stage was over, right? And um, it just, it became more like playing house or something like that. And I feel like this masculine, there's, they, I feel like they got with you and treated you like a third party when you're actually wifey material, okay? And, um, but they went back to this Queen of Swords, or, or they, they chose this Queen of Swords over you. And she feels very betrayed because, see, she knows about you, and she knows this masculine wants to come towards you. So, her last-ditch effort to keep this masculine there is to hold something over his head. I still don't know what that is yet. But I feel like it could cause his demise, all right? Um, what is she, what is, what secret is she keeping here? What is she threatening to tell? What is the secret? Could be something that they had done together. Yeah, she's threatening to tell, man. I'm telling you, she's like, I will let it all out. And see, that keeps your person stuck. It keeps your person stuck. She's like, I will tell everybody. And it. I feel like it scares the crap out of him. He's, this masculine is mad. 
mad, mad, big mad. It could even send them to jail. I saw the jail card on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, you may know what this is already. Um, but I feel like still, you even you could pick up on something intuitively. Like maybe you've been seeing something in your dreams. I'm seeing somebody's having some kind of really vivid dreams that will give you clues as to what this is. Um, but yeah, it's bringing down a tower, man. I just feel like, you know what, this, when she threatens this masculine, she's like, I know we did it together or something like that. I know what you've done. I'm going to tell everybody. I'm going to tell everybody what you did. He gets scared, okay, realizes that he's dealing with a rat, okay, somebody who is trying to keep him stuck. He gets angry. Um, and tells this person, this could be what it is, tells this person, no, you need to keep your mouth shut, right? Because um, this could ruin us both, all right? So, yeah, that's what this scenario is. This, they're having a big argument about this. Well, what is it? What, what is she trying to hide? I mean, what is she, try, what is she threatening to tell? What is he trying to hide? Oh boy, yeah, the gossip. Look at this. Friends can yep, she's she's threatening to tell this tell the secrets here. This is a lot of gossip that she's threatening to do. I don't know. It is keeping your person stuck. It's working. It could have been a bad investment that could send them to jail. Mm-hmm. It could have been a bad investment. It was something for money. I feel but this is an investment made so I feel like it was some kind of shady investments or something yeah very shady very toxic they could have gotten a lot of money off of this like a lot of money okay so, yeah, this is something, I feel like it was some kind of illegal. It could have even been something like a scam. And they were involved in it together. But this Queen of Swords feels so betrayed that she don't care. If she, I, I mean, she's, gonna, she's threatening to tell. Um, and it, it could send this person to jail. Maybe, yeah, they do not. See, this is being intimidated. I feel like this is being scared. This is your person not wanting to um, let that secret out, okay? Telling this, telling this karmic, no, you better not say a word about this. It'll bring us both down. You don't understand. This could ruin me. It could put me in jail, you know? What are you doing? If you tell the truth, I could go to jail. You better keep your mouth shut. They're fighting about this. Because your person does not want that secret to get out. Okay, and I feel like it was some kind of bad business deal or scam or something. And they made a lot of money. This karmic could even be saying, you know what? The, the only way I'm going to keep my mouth shut is if you marry me. Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And your person's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I am not going to marry you. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, see, because she's just trying to threaten your person into staying there, okay? That's all. This is coming out. Clarify this. This Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they. he does not want to marry the... See, she's trying every angle she can to scare this person into staying there. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? This person's already looking at other people, maybe another person online. They could have already be talking to somebody else. A Queen of Wands energy. 
I do not believe that that's you. I feel like that's someone else. I feel like you're in the Queen of Pentacles energy moving on. So they're already, yeah, see, it's like third party heartache, betrayal, yeah. I feel like they're, this masculine is already talking to someone else. And it could be somebody that they know online. So maybe online dating. They're already talking to somebody else. You know, they want out of the situation. So what, if they're not going to be able to get out of the situation, they're going to online date? What is this all about? Clarify this. I think they're meeting a lot of people, actually. They are thinking about you. Oh, there could be kids involved. This person could have even secretly gotten somebody pregnant. This could be another secret that this Queen of Swords is ready to spill. I'm telling you. And I feel like your masculine is being led to come towards you here, but you're blocking them out for good reason. For good reason. I feel like they're just being led. They're being led forward. Um, I feel like, you know what? Here's the thing. In order for this person to get out of this toxic situation, the truth is going to be exposed. Um, if the truth is not exposed, they have to stay and suffer in a toxic situation. Those are those two, they're, they're, that's their two choices. You know, either stay in the toxic situation and suffer or allow the truth to be exposed and set yourself free. The truth shall, shall set you free. That's what this is. You know? And I feel like, um, man, they don't like either choice to tell you the truth. But that's, you know what, that's the trap that they've fallen into. By staying in a toxic situation for too long and making the wrong choices. Okay? By um, allowing a, a toxic person to try to bully them into staying somewhere where they don't want to be. You know? And I feel like you're just blocking this energy out. You're like, I don't, I don't need an apology. I'm just moving forward. I'm moving on. You're moving on, collective. And meanwhile, this person, I'm telling you, they could very well be facing a court case. If this secret comes out, I feel like they'll, they'll probably go to jail. And there, here's the thing with justice, man. This is what they get for the energy they put out and the decisions they made. This is what they get. This is their karma, and they know it. And now this person, this masculine, is stressed out. You know? Feeling stuck because this, this karmic has them right where she wants them, basically. You know, and they have, they have two choices. They can either stay there and suffer like this, right? Constantly, every day, in the Nine of Swords, just waiting for the ball to drop. Waiting for this karmic um, to spill everything and get this person in jail. Or they can let the truth be exposed and face the consequences. Either way, they have to face the consequences of their actions. They've fallen into a, it's, it's almost like they got trapped in. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they got trapped in. And they don't, they won't have an easy opportunity to get out of it now. And you're just done. I feel like this is you. Two of swords saying, I'm done. I don't want to have anything to do with this anymore. I don't want to be in stagnancy and no communication anymore. I'm outie. Right? And this is you moving forward, ending that cycle. Forget it. You've already, you've gotten your healing. You've gotten your knowledge. You've learned your lessons. You've passed your tests. You've done your work. 
oh, you've been in, you've, you've put forth the effort, you've done your, um, your spiritual baths and your, your healing and meditation and manifesting, man, you're ready to go, right? You're ready to go into the new cycle. This person, they're not ready at all yet. Not at all. They got themselves into quite the little pickle. Okay, but yeah, as I say that, quite the little pickle, page of wands. And it's all because, you know what, this person did some impulsive, foolish things, played with the wrong people, played the wrong kind of games, got themselves into trouble, thinking there would be no consequences, and now they're suffering the consequences. Right here, justice. No opportunities of leaving up against a brick wall, you know, and highly stressed out. Yeah, that's where this person is right now. Let's see what they have to say, okay? <laughs> All right, what does this person want to say to the collective? When you see me, I try not to look in your eyes because I know you will see past my facade. Yeah, if, if you were to, that's too many though. If you were to see this person, they wouldn't even want to look you in the eye because I feel like they're very ashamed, they're embarrassed, they're worried. Now they live every day in fear. Every day they live in fear of when, the, when this karmic is going to spill the beans and send them to jail. Every day. And if they're not in fear, they're in sorrow and basically misery. Okay? They don't want to be there. Yeah, and my financial situation has changed. Yeah, I feel like um, they may have, you know, made some kind of bad business deal or something. But, you know, I still feel like it's either already changed or it's about to all of this wealth or whatever whatever they made money off of um all of it can disappear in the blink of an eye okay people look up to me and i don't want to let them down they're letting themselves down they got themselves stuck right I'm set in my ways. Yeah, they're pretty much, well, they can't go anywhere. There's no passion in my life. I feel like I'm stuck in Groundhog Day. Yeah. They're stuck wherever they are, collective. It took me a long time, but I'm starting to not care about what other people think anymore. She's not you. It just isn't enough for me. Yeah. I daydream about you often. Yeah, they do. They do. Um, you're the only person I've ever felt comfortable enough just to be myself. So many times I had the phone in my hand ready to reach out to you. Sometimes I, at night I think about the times we spent together. Oops. I'm looking for a sign from you that you still care. I'm ready to be in a serious, committed relationship with you. I know you are upset with me and I'm upset with myself. I feel alone among all these people around me. Yeah, they don't even like where they are anymore. All this person, I feel like they want to come towards you. Right now, they're, I feel like they're talking to someone else online, I got to say, just because they hate it where they are. They want to leave and feel like they can't. And I feel like one way or another, everything's going to get exposed. And this person could be in a world of trouble when that happens. 